Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for September 2022. This is a love reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a, a general reading. So those will cover aspects of career, finance, love, and everything in between. Mondays are something different every week. So of course, today will be a love reading. Last Monday was a four-month predictive reading for the months of September through December. If you haven't seen that, you might like it. And you also might want to hit that bell to be notified when new readings are posted. If you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Libra need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Libra? Messages for Libra about love. All right, so we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. Your energy is the five of wands, three of cups, and the star. Their energy is the three of pentacles, the nine of cups, five of cups. The advice is the interesting eight of swords, queen of swords, and the seven of cups. Well, I feel like they're telling you Sorry, there's a little bit of a thunderstorm, so you might have seen lightning and now hearing a little bit of thunder there. Um, they're telling you the advice is act. That's exactly what it is. The Seven of Cups is like, don't you don't want to stay stationary in this energy or this energy. So I feel like they're telling you with that Queen of Swords, you need to take some action because you do have a nice partner here. Now, for some of you, if it's reconciliation, you do have reconciliation here. And I, I want to say with their Five of Cups energy, that they miss you. There's no doubt about it. You each have a five though. So it's also an indication of change. But the threes that are there, you each have one of those. You each have wish fulfillment and you also have a three. Very harmonious energy, especially on their side. But again, you've got wish fulfillment on both sides. So I do feel like for some of you too, it's not reconciliation, but it's you're in a different relationship and it's just not working. Um, I feel like there's someone else. There's something about this advice here that's going to be important. So the Five of Wands can be very childish energy. Again, it's a change card. And also, too, what I first got with this was a bit of a chaotic energy, like you're very busy. So some of you might not have been focused on love. You might have been doing other things. I do get for somebody here really focusing on physical fitness, on if you are involved in any kind of sports or some kind of a like a scheduled activity where you have to be at a certain place at a certain time kind of a deal. Um, I do feel like there is something about that where you've just been busy. Now that three of cups, that's an engagement card. So I do feel like this relationship, if you don't know this person, you're going to. I mean, there's no doubt about it. You're attracting someone here. And that three of cups is celebration. It's like I finally found them kind of energy. It is a card, though, of appreciation. And so the way that we get into that energy is appreciating the littlest things than the day-to-day. -day. So even if <clears throat> you've been more focused on other things, it's also even the appreciation that I'm glad I could do that in the time that I needed to. Now I'm ready to find somebody instead of like, well, I, you know, questioning it or going through and finding it in a negative light because there's nothing negative about this now. With the star card, she's the goddess of truth. It is an absolute beautiful energy in terms of love and attracting love. You are going to have a great influence over others in this energy. People will feel the vibration of the star emanating from you. And so you may find that you have more social invitations anyway. Get yourself out there, Libra. I didn't mention you've got Aquarius, air, water, and earth here. So I guess you do have fire as well. So with the the star, it is a it's a it's a revelation. But I do feel like with this too, there's a great freedom here. So I do feel like it comes 
you know, it's a very organic kind of love. It's a real genuine kind of love. And it's going to be on both sides. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's in the cards. So yes, it's in the cards. But I feel like they're urging you. There's some kind of an urgency here. And so you you might be able to understand that better than I do, but I want to I just keep getting that where they keep urging it's like they're urging the queen of swords with this. So with their energy. So now I mentioned if it's a reconciliation in the 5 of cups, they have not given up on hope. They have not lost uh, hope for this to return again. Others of you though with that that 5 of cups, I do feel like they went through a bad breakup. But what I feel like it's done for them is given them either way, reconciliation or a new person, it's given them a new outlook. And so they're going to be in great appreciation. I almost feel like they have, they could have three of cups over here because you have these th these two upright cups, very interestingly enough. And so it, it really is a matter of their perspective being changed. And I feel like they are going to have a new value. They're going to place a new value on love and relationships. And so if in the past they took something for granted, they won't this time around. With the Nine of Cups, this is everything. It's everything they've wanted. And I do feel like with that Nine of Cups, they are moved. Their heart, their soul, they are moved as an individual here and really seeing like this is a good thing. Really wanting to invest in it, wanting to, you know, understand you, understand the best way to be in a relationship with you. And I also feel like, too, if you've had people that haven't made time, it's not going to be this individual. This is somebody who's definitely going to make time and understands what it takes to be in a relationship that grows. So the Three of Pentacles is not only a very harmonious energy, it's going to be somebody who you get along well with, they're very compatible with you, but it's also somebody who wants a future and so they may very early on start talking about moving in together. And I do feel like if it was a, um, a reconciliation, they have a lot of regret if there was something about moving in together. Or even if you both have your own places about not, not getting rid of your own individual places and buying something new together. There's something about housing that seems to be kind of a sticking point with reconciliation where I do feel like they have some regret around it. So with this, so I definitely see this as a relationship that expands, that grows, that moves forward. So interestingly enough, <clears throat> it, it, this is an interesting advice because this is not as much, I would not interpret this a, as an outcome as much as what they're trying to tell you to do here. And it's definitely all about moving forward. So the Seven of Cups, um, like I said at the beginning, is a card where they want you to make a decision and a choice. It's really about not staying stuck in just uh, analysis paralysis. And so I do feel like you're going to see what you need to see. You're going to have a conversation with that Queen of Swords that needs to be had. It's very direct and straightforward. But what I love about the Queen of Swords, she has wisdom. And so it's not a polarizing conversation whatsoever. It's a conversation that brings clarity and brings people together. And so with the Queen of Swords, she is the widow of the tarot too. But I, so, and really the only reason I bring that up is that she does know real pain. And so I, I feel like any conversation comes from the heart. It's certainly not weaponized or meant to hurt anybody. And I do feel like it helps with that Seven of Cups. Now the Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison, but I also feel like for somebody here, you may have too many people's advice or opinions around you. You've got one life to live. And so you got to be in that Queen of Swords mindset, that Queen of Swords energy. Where, And if it is a relationship that you need to end because you have somebody else new coming in, there may be a bit of a feeling of, you know, people pleasing there, not wanting to, because the, the Eight of Swords too has a little bit of a feeling of guilt along with it. So, Yes, it's in the cards. You are absolutely attracting a match, but it's going to take some action. It's going to need a very direct conversation with it. All right, so let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Libra. Advice for Libra about love, please. I didn't mention this, but the star is often associated with the next uh, seven seven and eight. So it could be the next seven, eight weeks. Could be all the way up into February too, but I do get seven or eight weeks. So they say forgiveness. Those of you that it's reconciliation, you got to move forward because 
It, love doesn't die. It's energy. Energy is never created or destroyed. It's just we get out of alignment. So it's time to be in alignment with love, regardless of your situation. Peaceful resolution. So I do like this because this is all about moving forward and getting into that wish fulfillment. They say compromise. So there may be something there for those of you that find somebody who has learned a valuable lesson or even those that are reconciliation within the next few months. That's not surprising. And you have a yes, okay? You create your own reality, Libra. You can have, do, or be anything. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.